this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. Now I'd like to talk about how to remove JPEG artifacts from an image. Normally you'll find this when you're actually finding images online of uh, of your friends or just, just images that you found. You want to use those images, you know, maybe there's a friend of yours that put up a picture of you on a, you know, a photo hosting website. But sometimes what happens is maybe they saved it in a too low quality or maybe the program, you know, the, the website itself to reduce the size of things reduces the quality of images quite substantially in the JPEG format. And what you end up having is JPEG artifacts. And let's have a look here and see how we can uh, take that away. So here is a pretty extreme um, version of um, JPEG artif uh, artifacts. I'll zoom in here so you can see exactly what is going on. And essentially with JPEG, it looks at, uh, it divides an image into blocks. And uh, when you have a quality that is way too low in JPEG, um, you start seeing um, blocky parts of an image and the whole image basically being composed of blocks. And it just doesn't look good. I mean, you can't really, if you print this, it's not going to look good. If you use this to put it on your own website and so forth, it just doesn't look good. So luckily, there is a way to remove this in Photoshop. And the way we're going to do this, I'll, I'll remain here with the zoomed in so we can see uh, what it is that we're doing to the photo. I'll go into Filter, Noise, and Reduce Noise. But Interestingly enough, we're not going to be focusing on reducing the noise per se, but we're going to be restoring and removing the JPEG artifacts. The first thing I like to do here is um, just set a strength of 0%, reduce the color noise to 0, and essentially what we're doing here is just zeroing out anything that Photoshop would be doing in regards to <clears throat> trying to reduce noise. So if you take away the preview here, uh, the image remains the same, right? So we'll put on preview so you know that it's not doing anything. Now the heavy lifter for this, and luckily there is just a quick button to do this here for us, is remove JPEG artifact. Now if you click on this, you can see that it does a marvelous job at removing the blocks. Now I want you to pay attention to this. Pay attention to this block here, right? Now we have a yellow block. Now when we click on remove JPEG artifact, the blocks sort of tend to disappear, right? They just blur into each other. But we're still left with a square of an odd yellow color. So we still there's still quite a lot to do with this because it's still very patchy. I mean, it's we need to smooth these things out because the image here, whilst uh, you have the blocks, you can sort of imagine that this would be sort of a continuous, you know, the, the, you need to try to restore this essentially. And at the moment, this is just doing half of the job. So what we need to do here is actually apply some uh, reducing of noise, especially for the removal of JPEG artifacts. So we'll be looking at things differently than what we did with the uh, with the reduce noise uh, tutorial. So I'll set the strength to 100% here. I'll set the preserve details to 100% and make sure that the reduce color noise is to zero. So at the moment, we're not really adding that much uh, or anything at all to the... Um, to the color, uh, to the noise correction yet. So we're just setting this up. So make sure you're 10, 100% and 0% here. Okay. Now what we want to do is uh, see what, what happens when we uh, play with the preserve details. Now if we set the preserve details to 0%, we see that we've smoothed things out quite a lot. Um, there, there's uh, pretty much an even, um, you know, uh, texture going on here. The coloring is a little bit off, but we'll we'll get to that. But it's just blurred too much. It's just made it way too painterly. So we have the extremes here. And what we want to do is sort of just go to the intermediary where we're not getting any of these blotchiness. But again, we're not losing too much of the detail. So we'll start from 0% here and just work our way up. And as you can see, it's just very slightly. We start adding detail to the image. At some point, for example, right here at the 20% mark or even 10 we're not really getting uh, any effects really. It's not changing anything for this image. You may find that in your image, depending on the resolution that you have it at, um, you might uh, be working with a different percentage, but you just want to bring it all the way down to the point where you're starting to smooth things out, but you're not losing too much detail so it looks like a painterly photo. So uh, what I want to do here is just, uh, let's say, work with this. Now, if you just want to see what it is that just this preserved details is doing, with the uh, reducing of the noise, we can set the strength to 0%. So we can see um, it not being applied at all. And we'll set the strength to 10, to 10. And there we are. So we're not losing too much of the details here. We could do a little bit of sharpening, which we'll do. 
and uh, we are making it a little bit more consistent here. Okay. The other thing I want to tackle here is the color. As you can see, there's a bit of the uh, blotchiness of the color, which we saw it's because of the way that JPEG saved, the low quality JPEG saved this. So what we want to do here is um, play with the reduce color noise. Now let's just go back and uh, again just set this at 100% here. And what happens is you lose that, right? It's consistent, but you start losing a lot of the color. It just becomes really bland. So what we want to do is just increase the color noise just enough so that we're losing this yellow here. So again, it's just very visual. Just, just keep on adjusting things until you see that yellow go away. So for example, right about here, I'd say we're safe. And again, if you want to see what's, what's going on here with the original, just set the strength to 0% and to 10. So there we are. So it's doing a pretty good job. The other thing we want to do here is just add some sharpening of details. Let's see what 100% does. Obviously, that's going to be way too much. You can see what sharpening is doing. So uh, what we want to do is just bring that down so that we are sharpening things, but uh, not too much. So uh, let's uh, take away the preview and put it on. And as you can see, we're pretty much just reducing a lot of the noise here, a lot of the JPEG artifacts, without actually doing too much um, adjustment to the image itself. We're losing a little bit too much of the uh, color, so I'm just going to reduce this a bit more. And uh, let's just compare here. And I think we're, we're good. I think this is a very good setting. So there we are. So I will click on OK. And now you can see, let's uh, zoom out here. Now you can see the uh, before and the after and uh, we did a pretty good job at uh, removing that low quality um, obviously it's you know we're, we're just uh, not creating magic here so uh, you know we can only w you know fix what we started working with but this is a pretty bad image here and this is a not bad uh, result so there you are if you enjoyed this video show your support by subscribing rating and adding it to favorites leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you